Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Welcome to Reality Check, where we bring you the raw truths and untold stories from the world of reality TV. Today, we're diving into a shocking revelation from Summer House star Jesse Solomon. Stay tuned as we uncover the truth behind Jesse's battle with cancer misdiagnosis. Let's get real with Reality Check. Summer House newcomer Jesse Solomon initially mistook what would be a cancer diagnosis for an STD, but how was that possible? The 30-year-old obviously did not ever think that any twinges he was feeling could be cancerous until it happened to him. Now, he is opening up about learning what was going on and getting his five-year scan while on the show. Keep watching for more details. Jesse Solomon joined Summer House in Season 8 as a newcomer along with West Wilson. They both were amazing additions, as West was quirky and fun whereas the ladies swooned for Jesse. He flirted with all of the women, even those who were taken. Yet, underneath Jesse's, I'm the man attitude and an overly big smile, there was an incredible backstory. He had been diagnosed with testicular cancer back in August 2017. The Bravo reality star was only 24 at the time and noted to his doctor at his physical how he was experiencing a twinge of pain in my testicle. According to People, Jesse's doctor wanted an ultrasound, but the patient requested an STD test as well. He recalled the moments after, I go and I pee in the cup and I get the ultrasound and they call me back right away. And I was at work. I missed the call and I was like, oh my God, I probably have chlamydia. My life is over. I'm going to have to tell this girl that I've been seeing. And this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Little did he know, the worst was yet to come. The doctor let him know he had a tumor on his testicle which had to be removed. More so, he probably had cancer. It was quite shocking and I was very scared and pretty freaked out. My parents handled it well and came to New York and we ended up doing everything in New York because I wanted to continue to live as normal of a life as possible. Following this, Jesse Solomon had one testicle removed and dodged chemo. Sadly, one year later, he was not that lucky. The cancer had come back so that was when he had to undergo four rounds of chemotherapy, which did cause him to lose his hair. His sessions would get delayed as he got sick and then, it just felt like he could not catch a break. Then I enter the third round of chemo, still sick and get pneumonia, and then I'm in and out of the hospital. The whole four rounds of chemo was supposed to be three months. It ended up taking about four. I went to the hospital so many times that before they gave me the all clear. By the end, I had no eyebrows and no hair, and I just was skinny fat and lost my muscle, and lost my veins, but that stuff all comes back. When Jesse Solomon agreed to join season eight of Summer House, he did not know what to expect. Yet, one thing he knew would happen was his five-year cancer scan. Jesse had high hopes that he would be cancer-free and then celebrate with his roomies. Of course, there is already so much drama in the house, so maybe this could lighten the mood and put everything into perspective. Unfortunately, as he was prepping for the scan, he and his doctor felt things that were abnormal. Though the episode ended with him awaiting his results, Jesse says he feels good right now. Hopefully, that means everything came back clear and it was just a false alarm. Did you have any idea what Jesse had been through? Does this give you a new perspective on him? Let us know and watch Summer House Thursdays on Bravo.